Okay, so I'm still playing around with um, my wedges and things like that. But um, here's another example where I've clearly made a different point of interest stand out than the bug, right? Um, so I could, let me just show you, if I bring the bug back and put this down here, um, oops, wrong one, I can do something like that, and now the bug stands out, and the butterfly's not standing out anymore. Or, again, see, before, oops, there's a bell, before, after. Um, so you get the idea, I hope, um, right away, and... It's, it's really about what's above this hue saturation layer. And by the way, there are many, many different options here. So I just showed you one, but, you know, I mean, you can play around with all of these, and they're all going to do something different. So, for example, if I click on levels as just an example, and I, I haven't really explained to you, you can see this is kind of playing around with adjusting the contrast and bringing certain things out and pushing other things back. And I can do some really interesting things with these. But as you can see, I can make different things stand out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make three copies of the wedge where I'm going to have different parts of the wedge stand out. Um, so in other words, and I think I just closed up my layers. I need those for a minute. This is important. Watch what I do. Okay, so the first layer, for me at least, layer one is where I have that template. So you have to go to that layer with the template, grab the magic wand tool, okay, and you're going to click inside, and here's what's important. Make sure this is uncontiguous, so you see how that grabs everything inside there. And then I'm going to say edit, but I'm going to say copy merged, not just copy. Copy merged means it's going to grab all the different layers, and I say edit paste, and when I do that, making everything else invisible. So that's wedge one. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, so that's clearly a well-defined point of interest right there. I kind of wish I had more stuff down here now that I look at that. So, you know what, I'm going to go back and take this and delete it and do it again. So I'll do it one more time. But this time around, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this lovely sunflower. So let me deselect everything and I'm going to move this so I have a little bit more defining that area down there. There we go. So again, Clicking on too many of the wrong things. Cancel. Click here. Edit copy. Oops. Nope, that was wrong. Edit copy merged. Edit paste or command V. And if I did that right, there we go. So that's one wedge with everything on it. And now I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to change this and have a different point of interest. So I'm going to deliberately bring... Um, the layer with this down, I'll bring the red bug up because I kind of like that. So now I have a different point of interest, at least I think standing out. Let's see if this works. Go back to layer one, which is my template layer. Click, right? See how I get everything selected. Edit and copy merged. And then edit paste. And I should have a second wedge. And if I want to see what that looks like, Yep, that definitely stands out very nicely right there. I like that. It's not too obvious, but at the same time, that's definitely where my point of interest goes right away. So now I need a third point of interest. So I think this time around, I'm going to bring all this back up. Let's bring up the sunflower here, play with that a little bit, and bring the bug down below. And I think this time around, I'm, you know, I'll bring the snowflake down below too. I'll leave the snowflake above. I kind of like the snowflake. I think I'll take the sunflower and I'll change the color on that. So image, adjustments. So I'm just changing it on the, the this specific flower. And, oh, that definitely modified it. Well, oh yeah, that's pretty. There we go. Okay. So that's definitely going to stand out now, I think. So I'll go back again to layer one. Click on that whole section there. There we go. And then again, edit, copy, merged, edit, paste. And if I did that correctly, let's see if I've got it. Make everything else invisible. So, yep, that's definitely a pretty defined, well-defined point of interest. And now what I can do is take those three different wedges and line them up next to each other. And, I mean, I, you could change the composition, too. You could change where everything is, but... The idea behind this is that you should have three well-defined point of interest there that you can play around with and use 
um, in your piece potentially. And just to show you, I'm going to rotate them. Actually, I'm not going to rotate them. Just like that. And once you have that done, um, you can save this as a JPEG. And then you're going to place this in the template. So save this as, um, I guess I could even save it as a PNG. Why not? And dollar template PNG.